Welcome to Smart Living Training, configuring terminal zones and outputs. Here is what we will cover in this session. So first of all, what is a terminal? Terminals are the physical connectors on the main board and expanders. Terminals are labelled from T1 through to T10 and can be configured as either inputs or outputs. Terminals can be zone doubled to provide up to 10 zones of five terminals. The 505 and 515 panels have a total of five terminals on board, with the 505 being expandable to five terminals maximum and the 515 being expandable up to 15 terminals maximum. The terminals on the 505 and 515 panel can be configured as inputs only. The 1050 and 10100 panels have 10 terminals on board, with the 1050 expandable up to 50 terminals and the 10100 expandable up to 100. Terminals 1 through 5 can be configured as inputs only, but terminals 6 through 10 can also be configured as outputs. To configure the onboard terminals, enter into installation programming and then select the terminals menu. Use the left and right arrows to select a terminal and use numbers 1 through 5 to set the terminal type. Once the terminal type has been set, press the OK button to configure the terminal. Terminals can also be configured under zones or outputs under installation programming. The Flex 5 IO Expander can be used to add additional terminals to a system. Each of the five terminals can be configured as a single or double input, output or monitored output. To add a Flex 5 expander to the system, set the required address, connect it to the iBus, place the panel in maintenance mode, and then verify that the expander's LED is flashing. The system will automatically enrol any Flex 5 module attached if the system is in maintenance mode. To verify that an expander is enrolled, enter into installation programming, scroll to expansions, and select enable disabled. Enrolled expanders will have a check next to them indicating they're enabled. Press escape once confirmed. Configuring terminals on expanders is the same process as configuring them on the mainboard. Enter installation programming, select terminals, but use the down key to scroll to the next expander. Select a terminal and then use the number keys to change the type. Press OK to configure a selected terminal. To configure zone options, enter into installation programming and then scroll down and select zones. Use the up and down keys to select a zone and press OK. Set the zone description, assign it to a partition, and set the zone type, such as entry, instant, or 24 hour. Set additional options for the zone, such as if the zone can be bypassed or if it is an interior zone, and then set the line termination if required. Zone terminals can be balanced individually per zone, as either normally open, normally closed with no end of line resistor required, single end of line, dual end of line to provide tamper circuit, double zone with no end of line, or a double zone with end of line. By default, zones are configured as single end of line and will recognize a value between 2K and 9K. To configure zone balancing, enter into installation programming, scroll down to zones, use the down key to select the zone to program and press OK. Scroll down and select line termination, and then select the required balancing. As already said, the system will automatically recognize a 2K to 9K end of line resistor value. 6K8 is supplied with the system. Using the software, individual end of line resistor values can be programmed per zone if required. It is possible to learn the end of line resistor value for the following zones. Note that when using zone doubling, end of line resistor values cannot be automatically detected. This should only be performed if using a combination of single zones and normally open, normally closed zones. To automatically detect the end of line value, ensure that all zones are sealed, enter into program mode, scroll down to default settings, select the option learn zone balancing and press OK to continue. Here is a typical example of a single end of line balance zone and a double end of line balance zone with a tamper circuit. And here is an example of a dual zone input 
without an end of line terminator and a dual zone input with end of line termination and tamper circuit. When using the software, these diagrams can be displayed for a selected zone under the configuration options to assist in wiring. Home arming will arm all zones that are non-interior zones. To set up zones for perimeter arming, we need to set the interior option for zones that will need to be bypassed during the home mode arming. Firstly, note down all the zones that need to be non-active in home mode, as these will be programmed as interior zones. Enter installation programming, scroll down and select zones, and then select a zone to program. Select the zone options, and set the interior option to on, then press OK. Terminals configured as outputs can drive a 12 volt load up to a maximum of 150 milliamps. The first five terminals on the main board cannot be set as outputs. Terminal outputs are negative switching and relays can be used to convert the voltage to a dry contact. A terminal has sufficient power to drive directly screamers and strobes and as this diagram shows, the positive of the strobe connects to an auxiliary plus 12 volts and the negative connects to the terminal. Only a single strobe or screamer can be driven off of a terminal directly. To program a terminal as an output, enter into installation programming and select the terminals menu. Use the left and right arrows to select a terminal and press the number 2 to set the terminal as an output. To configure the terminal, press OK or configure all outputs under the outputs menu in installation programming. To configure an output to be a timed pulsed output, select the output options and then set the option for monostable. Press OK to save, then select monostable time and input the required pulse time and press OK. Any event that triggers the output will cause it to trigger for the program monostable time. To configure an output to be an on off toggle output, select output options and set the option for toggle. Press OK to save. Any event that causes the output to turn on will now toggle the output. An OFF command will always turn the output off. It is also possible to set an output as both monostable and toggle at the same time. This will cause the output to toggle on and off, but will only turn on for the monostable time. This completes this training module.